<laughs> just do your part. So we kind of went through, you know, you getting back to God, like the, some of the changing factors of reading the Bible and through the worksheets, just becoming more aware of like your just everyday daily habits and all that good stuff. So once we got done with that part, then the target audience came. <laughs> Uh, tell me, tell me a little bit about that experience of me, you know, giving you that worksheet and you're like, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm about to do. <laughs> um, yeah, so the target audience, the thing of it is, um, like, I'm, I'm writing a book right now. And I think, mm -hmm. I don't know if you tricked me or this part of your program <laughs> or whatever. But when you was like, write the stuff out, I realized that I was writing my life story, mm -hmm. right? And I was speaking to Hallelujah. Kelly. So, so my target audience is women 35 to 55. And that is 10 years ago, the 10 years ago, Kelly, right? So I'm gonna be helping people wherever I was 10 years ago and whatever I was doing 10 years ago, I'm, I'm not, I'm not there anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. then five years is stuff. And then now I'm here. And so then there, I still have to get to the, the next stage and stuff. So, so my demographic, my target audience is people, I wanted to address people that were around my age, mm -hmm. my 10 years younger self and my what's becoming 10 years older self, right? And I know that all of us, I don't even have to know your story, but I know you're struggling with something. Mm. Hello? You're struggling with something, why? Because we human. And if you ain't on that supernatural, if you ain't, if you ain't there, <laughs> it's tough. Mm. And I know that um, there are some people that think they there, but see, your life, your life will show what you believe is based off of who you believe. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to ask you who you believe because your life will show it. You around here, just don't, those dark days and those dark moments, they not good. They not fun. They're not fun at all. And I don't, where they come from, it comes from a, pl a place that you shouldn't be, right? Mm. And, 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 and when you get to the place where you're supposed to be, those get less and less mm -hmm. and less, right? So, um, that, yeah, that, um, I keep forgetting what your question was. <laughs> Hey, that, that's because you you in the moment. That that's that's all. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you answered that about the target audience and like understanding who you are helping and and what you're trying to do, um, and what God is showing you your 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 real mi mission. Your real yeah, mission. writing a book right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm literally writing a book, y'all, for real. Like for real, I am writing a book. And I was talking to my buddy Tiff Tiff Malone. Y'all know she's writing a book. She's been writing a book long before me. I didn't know I was writing a book. She knew she was writing a book. I didn't know I was writing one. Right. But now I'm, I'm fully aware and being um, intentional in this purpose, because um, sometimes just telling your story and getting on a level with people that can relate is, 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 is helping. And I don't want to just write it just to have income coming in. I want I want people to get something from it. I want to be able to help somebody. Yeah. Yeah. This is tough. This is tough. Y'all have no idea, mm. right? But um, I'm, I'm able to get through and I'm able to, um, you got people, they walk up to me, honey, I, you know, they didn't, I done got so many gifts. They feel sorry for me, I guess, right? <laughs> I'm in a store. You, you can get in front of me. <laughs> okay, like it's, you know, um, it's, 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 it's funny to, it's funny. I have to, and I'm so glad I'm working on this mouth because honey, some of the stuff that people say. That's why you needed it. That, that, that's why you need it. These good old six months. <laughs> but just think six months, six months. That's it. A lot, a lot of times people, people feel like they don't know just how, when you're intentional, 
just how much you can turn that thing around when you put God in the beginning of it. Because for my coaching, if you ain't gonna read the Bible, then you ain't gonna be in my coaching. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about where a place I was. When people going through, they don't wanna hear about God. Mm -hmm. They don't. Because if God, then I wouldn't be going through. That's what they think. That's what I thought. Not necessarily, that's not what I thought. What the thing of it is, when, when to, to come to be at a funeral and the people come over with the, uh, um, oh, she's in a better place. She ain't in pain no more. First of all, what was wrong with the place where we had it? We fed her, we, we, we changed it, we did all the stuff. Wait, wasn't nothing wrong with, with, what you mean better place, right? Um, um, she ain't in pain no more. I ain't tell you my mama was pain. So why are you coming to tell me that she ain't in pain no more? Mm -hmm. You you just reciting those um, what's it called the cliches and you mm -hmm. know and some of it was Bible but nobody wants that at the time. Just hug a person. Think sometimes a hug it messes it up too because it, it it brings up out that reaction. But just and that was my take on it. I didn't want to hear those things because I wasn't in that place in that space. I just buried my mama. That's my mama in that casket. That's my mama going down in that ground. So whatever you have to say is not going to be encouraging. I don't care what you think mm. for me. Now it might work for somebody else. Or if that person was in that space, then they could want to hear that. And mm. I'm not saying that I'm not sad and still going through it, but I just, I can deal with it just so much better. Mm. Hallelujah. And when I feel myself going, I don't, I, the, like I said, those dark places, th those people that struggle with depression, like, and I'm saying those people, I, I was one of them, but I wasn't to the point where I, I could do harm to myself, right? There are people that I know um, that have experienced that and have been so dark and deep where they have, 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 have wanted to hurt themselves. And um, I haven't been to that point, but I do understand not wanting to be here. Yeah. I do understand that part. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it to myself. I could, that was never even a thought to go that far, but I'm not um, being insensitive to the people that are there where they are that far. But what I'm trying to say is I'm just thankful that I didn't get to that place and what's happening now, that, that place where I used to dwell with those, um, depressing thoughts and stuff like that mm -hmm. it's, it's it's fading it's fate like it's it's fading it's it's hallelujah it's just it's <laughs> not i'm mad at myself for even getting that low it's almost like no god made us in his image and um you know that's what I'm, I'm supposed to be living my life. Like, I represent him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing this at myself. Please don't, if anybody's still struggling with that and going there, I'm not doing that to you. I'm doing that to myself. Mm -hmm. It's my interview. 